hello 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 and welcome back to the channel um so i have been exploring crypto for the last um, two three weeks i have been into crypto for a very long time but i was not very serious with it initially i i tried out mining like in 2010 or 11 i don't remember and my computer had crashed i don't even know what what i had or what i didn't or you know i don't even remember my seed phase for the for the metamask wallet then um, whatever anyway coming back to now so um in in the last video i recorded on how uh, you know you onboard the crypto universe like uh, in a decentralized manner like not from wazirx or coin dcx uh, but going completely decentralized and uh, to do that um, you know i used the uh, binance smart chain i bought from binance i went to the binance smart chain then from there i shifted to the matic smart matic mainnet um so i'm going to link the video somewhere over here so that if you want you can check that out and how you can actually onboard um buy ayana to matic in metamask on the matic chain now uh, after that was done my next goal was to explore decentralized finance uh, or defi as as you know you call it now this was pretty exciting there are like a lot of stuff uh, going on in on in decentralized finance from yield farming to you know staking a lot a lot of cool stuff from borrowing and lending and you know there are like a lot of apps available out there dapps or you know distributed apps or i have to look that up anyway so um uh, dapps are out there like uh, ave and quick swap which is like a decentralized exchange and sushi swap as well and then you get to provide liquidity over here and you get rewards for that you get yield for that uh, you know you get you you earn interest on what you deposit over there so a lot of these cool things were there these things can become very overwhelming if you're new to uh, decentralized finance and crypto in general and um getting wrecked is something in crypto which basically means that you lose all your money uh, the coin just goes kaput and everything is gone so getting wrecked is is uh, like a very common scenario and uh, luckily or fortunately uh, this video is about how i got saved from getting wrecked even though i had a small amount in my wallet but still it's it's a big big learning and i really wanted to share share it with all of you so let's just start the video and um, you know um so coming back to you know uh, the decentralized uh, finance apps or dapps uh, on, on the on the matic smart chain on the matic main net i i don't know why i keep calling it as the matic smart chain on the matic main net uh, or the polygon main net uh the first one which i really explored and i wanted to explore was ave so ave is like a bank where you can actually um deposit your cryptos and you can borrow cryptos as well and matic was actually having a very good um offer going on at at the time a couple of days back which has crashed drastically right now so this was supposedly around um, deposit fees was like around 8 or 10 and on top of that you were earning like 5% of uh, matic and uh, the borrow fees was like around 8 or 9 and you were earning like 16% of matic just for borrowing so ave was paying you to borrow money from them this was basically like a deal between ave and and polygon uh, matic chain um, where they were giving out rewards for uh, you know increasing the usage of the of the network and uh, promoting people to use it uh nevertheless so i tried this out first and i deposited a bit of um some uh, over here and um after that um, i you know i wanted to look at how borrowing and depositing works and everything i did look up a few videos uh, they were very helpful you know you can do like you can there's like a health factor and and a lot of lot of cool stuff over here where you like you deposit stuff then you that's like a collateral to you then you can borrow something using that collateral then again deposit it then you know it's it's, it's like a snowballing kind of an effect um, um there's a health factor involved as well which kind of uh, balances out your uh, not credit score but like your um, borrowing capacity so if if your health factor goes below 1 your uh, collaterals get liquidated and you start losing money on it um this was pretty pretty nice pretty interesting but i wanted to try out other stuff as well and that is when i uh, went to uh, sushi swap and uh, this is basically like a dex like a decentralized exchange and they are having a pretty good um, 
yield farms over there like having a lot of good yield farms over here and um, i did try out a few over here initially like if if you go to the you know uh, sushi swap yield website you just click on yield and then you can actually sort them over here so, um, so for example you know like uh, wrapped et and wrapped fill is giving you like a 334 percent return or you can even even search for uh coins which you want to you know provide liquidity for so providing liquidity is basically where you're providing equal amount of coins uh, for you know whatever the liquidity pool you are choosing for example if i choose usdc and DAI, so i have to provide equal amounts of usdc and equal amounts of DAI in the liquidity pool and so based on the total pool whatever is the pool size uh, whatever amount i am depositing is the percentage i get so what happens when people do trading on on sushi uh, or quick swap or whatever dex is for that matter so a certain percent uh, percentage of um, you know charges are involved like um, which out of which certain out of which like 50 percent or something goes to the to the respective uh, platform like quick swap and the rest goes to the liquidity providers like us for example so that is where this apy comes into the picture uh, there, are, there is like a risk involved over here. It's called impermanent loss. I'll do a different video on it. It's, it's, it's a very interesting concept as well. You can even check out other videos on YouTube to, to know about it. Uh, but, uh, you know, nevertheless, so I did try out these first. It was pretty interesting. Um, and, and on top of that, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this. So you get a percentage of written for providing liquidity and on top of that you also get rewards so in this case for example if i if i would provide usdc and dai as liquidity on uh, sushi swap i am going to get around 250 sushi per day and 3.445 uh, wrapped uh, matic per day so this is again not going to be exactly this is the current rate which is going on right now i'm going to get whatever percentage of liquidity i provide in the entire pool so if i provide 0.5 percent of liquidity i'm going to get 0.5 of 250 uh, sushi per day or 2.5 of 3.45 uh, matrix per day so that's how this whole liquidity providing thing works and i can you know withdraw my liquidity anytime i want and i can also withdraw the rewards along with it so that's the basic of liquidity providing and how you do yield farming and earn from it. Um, so similarly, then I went to QuickSwap. QuickSwap has a pretty good yield pool as well and a lot of cool, uh, you know, pairs and um, respective um, rewards are being offered over here. So initially, I did try out uh, USDC and Matic. Uh, one sec, I'll just... Um, so... For checking this out, you can actually go to Quick, Quick Swap Exchange and then you go to Rewards. Over here, you'll, you're going to find this. So initially, I did um, something. Um, yeah, Matic and USD, USDC is what I did initially. And if you look at this, the Rewards plus fee APY is around 2,797%. Um, so this is a lot my pool share is definitely very low right now because i just you know i'm just using test amounts to test this out uh, but this is how this whole liquidity providing thing works on quick swap so you deposit then you get a certain percentage and based on that you you get to know how many quicks you get over here so quick is like a token for quick swap how many quicks you get over here and and what's the fee fee is basically whatever transactions are happening for this particular pair whatever swaps are happening so whatever fees is being generated certain amount of that is being paid to the liquidity providers which are us or which is like me in this case so uh, right now my fees is like around 0.3 dollars per day and i have actually deposited a very low amount of around 31 32 dollars which was initially i deposited 30 dollars which is now 32 dollars um, so this is how the whole liquidity pool thing works now what happened if you notice properly there are some which are giving you unbelievable returns right and i have been warned about this a lot like a lot of people have uh, in the youtube videos even shobit's video he did mention that uh, the yields which have the maximum you know written like analyzed written not necessarily are stable enough for actually to last that long so there's a high chance that you might get wrecked if you involve your you know cryptos if you put liquidity in these kind of pools so it's definitely very risky but given that i'm new to this and i really 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 wanted to try this out and um, so i tried out something called titan and usdc 
so um i don't think it's uh, it's visible i didn't record anything at that time but i don't know if it's visible right now or not so this is the only pool for titan which is titan and ethereum right now uh, if you look at the rewards and apy annual percentage yield it's it's unbelievable right this is this is not physically possible not literally possible to have this kind of a yield so um that time from what i remember titan and usdc was like around um, the total deposit was like around four four five million dollars and um, the rewards apy was around twenty five thousand percentage i was intrigued obviously like you know looking at other percentages like you know 20 30 and this is like 25000 so i thought why not i did a quick research on what titan is and my bad i lo i was looking at a wrong titan so if i look up uh, titan on uh, coin gecko i think there are like um, two different there's a titan swap as well and they both have kind of a similar symbol so i actually looked up this and um, this is a proper noob mistake which i would recommend you not to do always do proper research before investing anything so it was like around 2 a.m i was already very sleepy and i just thought why not let's try it out i looked up to a titan swap it looked pretty nice and everything it looked pretty stable and then i actually um converted my you know matic to titan and usdc was definitely usdc and um then i invested it so oh sorry i didn't invest in usdc i invested in ethereum itself so i converted from uh, usdc to ethereum and matic to titan and then i provided liquidity for uh, approximately around 1.36 titan and 0 0.7 0 0.0741 ethereums so this the value of these two is basically the same that's how the liquidity pool works it's always going to be 50 50 so if one increases or one decreases you, you can incur loss and um, again that's like impermanent loss and that's like a, that's like for a different video right now so this is what i provided but after providing it i i think i put in around 38 or 39 dollars just to test it out uh, and um, it was falling rapidly and um, I was about to go to bed and just for the sake of curiosity, I just, you know, looked up uh, what the current, um, you know, liquidity value is, like what is the current value I'm earning? Because to be really honest, when you have a 25,000 written percentage, you expect things to move very fast, right? So, uh, so this is how you check, you, you know, whatever um, uh, investments you have made in the liquidity pool, you can just go and manage it over here. And over here is going to show you like, you know, what's the current rate you're earning and blah, blah. So this is something else. This is I have actually provided the liquidity over here in the pool. And then I have deposited the liquidity pool tokens in the reward section where I'm earning quicks per day as well. Again, this is a pretty complex scenario uh, for, a, for a separate video. I'll explain this maybe later on. But just imagine that this is my liquidity providing uh, pool. So this is what I'm providing right now. This can go up and down. And that time I provided around 38 and from 38 it started falling and it came to around 36. And I was like, what the hell is happening, right? So then I do a bit of research and then I find, find out that I'm looking at the wrong uh, iron or the wrong Titan to token. So this is the Titan token, which was being, uh, you know, the liquidity for which I was being, uh, I was providing. And uh, at the time when I invested, it was like around, um, as I said, around 2 a.m., right? So it was around 20, 20 point something dollars, the value of, um, you know, the Titan token. And within minutes, it fell to 19, 19 point, you know, seven or something like that. And I realized my mistake. I shouldn't have done this. I am stupid. I agree. I'm a noob. And you know, you, you make mistakes and that's how you learn. And I instantly started withdrawing my liquidity for these two, for this pair basically, like Ethereum and Titan. I went back to QuickSwap. I tried to withdraw it. So this is where I deposited the liquidity. And after like five minutes, I, you know, just went back to one sec. I'll just zoom in and show this to you. Okay, I can't zoom, yeah. So after, uh, you know, like five minutes from depositing the liquidity, I went to withdrawing the liquidity. And if you can see, uh, initially I tried withdrawing, it failed. Then again, I tried and this time it worked. And uh, just look at the difference, like from 6.41 Ethereum to 6.33 Ethereum within a matter of seconds. 
and five minutes back i actually provided a liquidity for 1.36 titan and 0.00726 ethereum and when i actually review the liquidity i got around 0.00633 ethereum and 1.55 titan so titan increased because titan was falling rapidly so the liquidity pool was automatically selling ethereum and then increasing my titan holdings in the liquidity pool to balance out the 50 50 ratio so this is the impermanent loss which i made permanent after withdrawing it basically and um, this was important and i didn't realize how important this was so i just withdrew this i was like you know just why was i doing it i don't know i went back i again you know swapped everything for matic and usdc and then i provided a liquidity for matic and usdc which you are looking at right now uh, in the i i then went off to sleep i woke up in the morning i just you know out of the sake of curiosity i just looked up the titan value again and in the morning it was like tends to zero it was like 0 0.00009277 and i'm like shit this is this was like you know so close if i didn't withdraw it at that point of time if i just uh, deposited it and thinking that okay you know things go up and down and this is fine like it's going to go up again tomorrow my you know yield is very good i'm going to earn like a lot from 38 i'm going to make like 200 dollars if i thought that way i would have had zero dollars right now and that's the wrong way to you know invest in in crypto so you have to be very careful uh, so on doing further research i went to you know the titan iron finances twitter handle and they have a proper post-mortem of everything so according to them uh, supposedly uh, uh, you know a lot of whales who were invested in in iron they started selling it and when they started selling it um, you know panic kind of set in uh, so as as you know iron was like uh, kind of like a fractional titan is like a fractional stable coin which is like consisting of usdc and usdt both and iron is like pegged to a dollar so what happened was because of some panic or something the iron price went off peg off peg means like it's not exactly you know similar to what it's supposed to be like to a dollar I, again, I haven't done a lot of in-depth research right now, so please do your own research on this. Um, DYOR, which is again a new term which I got to know today. So this is just I'm saying from what I'm reading and what uh, my understanding till now about all this has been. And um, so after that, Titan started dropping from 65 to 30 within a matter of two hours. And um, it was chaos. So what they're calling it is called a bank run bank run is when you know um you know the way banks work right you provide you deposit your money in your savings account and banks give it out for uh, loans and that's how they earn money out of it now if everyone starts withdrawing at the same moment the banks are going to fail and supposedly this is what happened with iron finance and um this is like the first time you know like a bank run happened in the crypto universe as per them and i'm luckily to be a part of this or unluckily i don't know so um definitely this was very 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 uh, scary to be really honest and uh, luckily i withdrew at the right moment i i you know i did a mistake first of all by investing in this this is not an investment advice you should be very very careful in what you're investing in and i'm just glad i got to learn about this like you know how getting wrecked can be so easy i've been reading um, reddit forums and people were sleeping and they had no idea that their money is going to go to waste and when they wake up in the morning then they start crying if you go to uh, iron finance page you know whatever you see you'll see tweets like you know please give us compensation i've lost my life savings on iron titan so first of all you shouldn't be putting your life saving in in some random coin which was which was launched like you know a month back around 21st of may so that's that's not how crypto works and investing works um so my main conclusion is that don't be greedy when you're investing in crypto and when you're doing liquidity uh, farming so uh, there are like very pro liquidity farmers out there who actually do this very well they have like a ton of different farms and some work some don't some get wrecked some you know make like tons of money uh, so definitely it's very lucrative but you need to learn it very well you need to be very careful with what you know you need to research the coins uh, very well 
um, at present what I'm what I'm doing is um, I have been researching on how I can do a bit of safe liquidity farming you know just to get an idea of it of how it works just to get a taste of it and from what I know like stable coins is still safer compared to other coins and chances of having impermanent loss is less uh, so definitely very exciting couple of last days since the last video I launched um, being a part of a bank run on, on the crypto universe and um, almost getting wrecked and then then just you know saving that money and then reinvesting it in a different liquidity pool. So definitely it's very exciting. I hope uh, you know um, this helps to this helps you. So my basic point right now is that always research the coin you're providing liquidity for. Don't be greedy for APYs. Higher APYs means higher the risk. If, if it's looking too good to be true, uh, if it's looking too good, it's too good to be true or whatever the you know the quote is basically don't fall for it like you know do your research look up proper coins you know know why that coin is increasing so much know why you know the apy is so high and do your research and you'll get the idea the apy was already so high because the coin was already on on the downward path so from 60 dollars it came to 20 dollars and i didn't know that because uh, I was sleepy and I was just testing it out for the sake of you know testing it out but um, I, I would have lost around 40 dollars if I, if I wasn't very careful with it but uh, nevertheless so that's the point be safe um, you know crypto is very exciting these kind of things do leave a bad taste in your mouth and especially when I think of it in this way that crypto being decentralized a certain veil uh, you know like veils are basically people who own a large sum of that particular coin or token and it's, it's really surprising that a few people can actually control the entire ecosystem same with bitcoin i think i was reading today that around 90% uh, of the bitcoin is owned by a few people which are the whales and if they decide to dump everything the market is going to crash like anything so i don't know how this works i'm still you know researching uh, more into it of how to be safe and how uh, to invest in the right um, crypto assets so that you don't lose everything and don't get wrecked so um, concluding this i hope you know this this helps you i got the lesson very early and i hope you know you don't repeat something like this and um, yeah that's all so um, i'll be exploring a bit more i'll be seeing what other stuff uh, we can do i'll be creating my first i'll be writing my first smart contract i'll be you know looking at developing on the ethereum uh, network on the matic network so a lot of exciting times ahead um, i will be recording my experiences for you guys uh, if it helps you all so um, yeah stay safe uh, do like and comment if you have any doubts or you know your thoughts any feedback at all and um, i would love to read that so stay safe take care until next time sumit so